Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From cold flames to advanced cancer research, here are 10 of the most incredible space experiments. Number 10, cool flames. Experiments on the International Space Station often return unexpected results, none more so than during a series of combustion tests that discovered cool burning flames. Taking place in the multi-user droplet combustion apparatus on board the space station, the tests involved igniting large droplets of heptane fuel. To begin with, it appeared as if the flames had extinguished themselves, just like would be expected to happen on Earth. But the instruments that were monitoring the experiment showed that the heptane was still burning, with the cool flames being invisible to the human eye. The flames can occur in a wide range of different environments, such as in the air, like we get on Earth, and atmospheres with high concentrations of nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and helium. It's believed that the flames occur because of chemical reactions that are currently unable to happen on Earth. The microgravity in space allows gases to remain around the droplets for far longer and enables the chemistry to develop, allowing the gas to burn. It's thought, if it can be replicated on Earth, that this type of combustion could lead to cleaner, more efficient engines. The byproducts produced include carbon monoxide and formaldehyde, but these are also eventually burnt off in the process. Number 9. Chicks in Space We've all heard of the space race when the US and USSR tried to best one another in their quest to leave the Earth's atmosphere. But did you know that this also took place in terms of the experiments that they were conducting? And in the late 80s, both sides attempted to hatch birds in zero gravity. The Russian trials began in 1979, when they sent Japanese quail eggs on Soyuz 32. These tests didn't exactly work well, though, with slow developments and deformities. It was only in 1990 that the first healthy quail egg hatched on the Mir space station, the first known example of a vertebrate being born outside of our planet's atmosphere. These quails still struggled and weren't able to feed because they couldn't latch onto anything. This led to the development of special harnesses for them to wear, but still, zero-gravity life wasn't great for them. The U.S. experiments began life as an idea from a university freshman who won a competition and was then sponsored by KFC. It saw 12 fertilized eggs in an incubator loaded onto the Challenger shuttle in 1986, which were destroyed in the tragic malfunction that happened on launch that caused the deaths of the seven astronauts. Three years later, the experiment called Chicks in Space was launched with 32 fertilized eggs on the Space Shuttle Discovery. They orbited the Earth 80 times, and eight of them hatched after returning to Earth. The importance of these experiments may not seem clear at first, but they were crucial first steps into understanding how humans can survive a long time in space. Not only might it indicate what could happen if we were to have children in space, but also if we were to colonize other worlds, we need to take animals along with us to provide food. So understanding how chickens react in zero gravity is kind of important. Number 8. Tissue Chips in Space Observations of the effects on humans of microgravity have shown that prolonged periods of time in space can speed up the aging process increasing muscle deterioration, bone mass reduction, immune deficiency, and weakened cardiopulmonary functions. But good news is the effects are reversed when returning to Earth. Tissue chips are ones that are made with a lining of human cells and are used to more effectively test the effects of drugs and diseases on humans, as opposed to the traditional methods of cell cultures or using animals. When taken to space, these tissue chips experience the same aging effects as seen in astronauts, which means that scientists can analyze these changes and test new types of drugs much faster than they can on Earth. It's essentially like pressing a fast-forward button on aging, and means that the long-term effects of drugs and diseases can be determined in a much shorter time frame, which is groundbreaking considering some tests require entire lifespans to have been lived before knowing how safe or effective they actually are. For now, the costs are prohibitive for all but the most important research, because space is expensive. But in the future, it's quite possible that a large amount of biomedical testing will be conducted in space. Number 7. Flatworm Regeneration Flatworms may seem uninteresting at first, but they've always been important in research because of their regenerative properties. It's a process that's not entirely understood, but if you cut one into pieces, it'll grow a new head and tail and become a new worm in its own right. In 2016, scientists wanted to see if zero gravity had any effect on the way they regenerate and found some surprising results. 
they sent 15 headless and tailless planarian flatworms to the ISS for five weeks. One of them, though, grew two heads, something that never really happens in the wild. What's more, when they had returned to Earth, every time the heads were removed, it still grew back two heads, with one in place of the tail, even more than a year after being in space. It wasn't just their regeneration that was affected either. None of the worms that had been in space would cross dark parts of a petri dish following their return, and their microbiomes and metabolism were found to have changed as well. It's not clear which part of their space flight caused the changes, whether it was the g-forces of takeoff, the weakened magnetic field in orbit, weightlessness, or the stress of re-entry, but the experiment has thrown up some unexpected results that the researchers hope to investigate further. Number 6. Exus it's a well-known fact that we are made from stardust. After all, it's the events that happen when a star dies that create all of the elements that we and the universe are made from. But the exact process by which this creation happens is not known, and that's what the EXIS experiment was designed to find out. It stands for Experimental Chondral Formation at the International Space Station and is designed to recreate the conditions of the early solar system with a high energy and low gravity environment. It zaps a special formulated dust with an electrical current and uses specialized cameras to monitor how the dust collects together in the zero gravity surroundings. It's hoped that this will help to unlock how things work in the early stages of a star system and explain why planets and other objects form in the way that they do. Number 5. Cancer Research As the second leading cause of death in the U.S., responsible for 589,000 people in the country dying every year, a huge amount of resources are dedicated to finding new treatments and preventative measures for cancer. The ISS lab is one of the tools in the arsenal against the disease, and microgravity offers new ways to investigate various aspects. The cultivation of clinical-grade stem cells helps to further understand resistance to chemotherapy and protein crystallization studies, which in space can produce larger crystals than on Earth. They are used to visualize how new drugs can control the growth of cancer and improve both the discovery of new drugs and the development of new delivery methods. There are many more cancer experiments taking place in space, too, such as trying to find out if treatments for other illnesses can also be used on cancer, methods to reduce the side effects of drugs by using 3D cell culturing, and creating completely new ways of targeting cancerous cells. The ability to experiment in the environments that the ISS provides has already had a major impact on the range of treatments available and is a vital tool in future developments. Number 4. Shooting an Asteroid In late 2018, Japan's spacecraft, the Hayabusa 2, dropped probes on an asteroid called Ryugu. In late February of 2019, one of them fired kinetic impactor shots into the surface to collect material to bring it back to Earth to study. A mission like this, though, needs to be carefully planned, and the designers of the mission carried out practice runs on Earth before the spacecraft was even launched. To do this, all the survey data of the asteroid was used to create a scale replica, which was placed in a vacuum chamber. A version of the sampling system was then tested to test two parts of its operation. First was the ability for it to still work after being kept in storage to simulate its travel to the asteroid. The second was to ensure it would work if the surface of the asteroid was covered in gravel instead of the dust that they had expected, something that turned out to be the case when the actual craft landed. The results of the trial were a success, so the mission was launched on time, and despite some delays to the planned sampling taking place, everything worked even better in the zero-gravity environment of the asteroid. Number 3. The Cold Atom Laboratory In 2018, a small suitcase-sized device began work on discovering some of the biggest mysteries in physics by creating the coldest known spot in the universe. Called the Cold Atom Laboratory, it's used to cool atoms to virtually absolute zero at just above minus 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit. At such a low temperature, atoms behave very differently and collect together in what's known as a Bose-Einstein condensate. This is neither solid, liquid, or gas, and makes it easier to conduct quantum mechanics experiments. Peculiar behavior, such as the existence of particles in two places at once, could potentially be explained by using the Cold Atom Laboratory, and scientists hope to be able to deduce new laws of physics. Bose-Einstein condensates can actually be created on Earth, but gravity means that they only exist for fractions of a millisecond. In space, though, they stay around for up to 10 seconds, which makes observation much easier. Who knows what this laboratory will uncover and how it will change our understanding of what are believed to be the most basic building blocks of the universe.
Number 2. The Juno Mission NASA has a number of missions that have been sent to explore the solar system, and Juno is one of the most exciting. It was launched in 2011 as a part of the New Frontiers program, with the aim to learn more about Jupiter. The probe entered polar orbit in 2016 and has been monitoring the planet ever since. It's looking at things such as the composition of Jupiter, its magnetic field, its gravity, and how things are different around the poles. Furthermore, it's looking for any clues as to how the planet was formed in the first place and trying to find out whether or not there's a solid core. Already, it's provided data about the strange wave-like structures that appear in Jupiter's atmosphere, and there's plenty more to come. Eventually, its mission will end, and to prevent contamination of its moons, Juno will be purposefully deorbited into the atmosphere, something that's planned to take place in 2021. Number 1. Combustion the movement of fire can be unpredictable enough on Earth, but in space things get very strange. Here, when a flame is burning, gravity pulls colder, dense air to the base of the flame, which causes the hot air to rise. This continues to feed the fire with fresh oxygen, and the airflow is why a flame flickers in a teardrop shape. Without gravity, though, the hot air of the fire expands and doesn't move upwards. The flame continues to burn, but only because oxygen molecules drift into the fire. Without the movement of the hot air, microgravity fires are spherical shaped and move very slowly, creeping along pieces of paper in a much different way to how you'd expect. It's because of this that combustion experiments tend to be the favorite ones to conduct by astronauts. Flames can be far more dangerous than on Earth, though, because they burn longer and don't need as much oxygen. This means that traditional fire extinguishers are far less effective, and further testing is needed to learn ways to predict and control its behavior, so it can be tamed if it gets out of control, or harnessed in future missions where combustion is needed to generate energy. Thanks for watching! Hope you learned something new today! What did you think of these incredible space experiments? Let me know in the comments below! Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time! Bye!